my name is Mariko Berg and I'm a realtor with Bridgewell Real Estate Group here in Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada. And today I am here to talk to you about property transfer tax in British Columbia. And I should start by saying that every province has differences in the way that they calculate the land transfer taxes. So this video is specific to British Columbia. And if you're looking to purchase in BC, then definitely keep watching because this will be applicable to you. So first things first, how do we calculate property transfer tax, also known as PTT? In BC here, we calculate it as 1% on the first 200K, 2% on the balance up to the $2 million mark. For the portion that's greater than $2 million but less than $3 million, you're looking at an additional 3%. And for the portion that is above the $3 million mark, you're looking at an additional 2%. So it does work on a sliding scale. And just as an example for you, if you're looking at a $500,000 condo, let's say, um, for the portion between the $0 mark and the $200,000 mark, 1% on the first $200K, you're looking at $2,000. And then for the portion between the $200,000 mark and the $500,000 mark purchase price, that's $300,000, you're going to be calculating that as $300,000 times 2%, which is an additional $6,000, which would mean that for a $500,000 condo, you're looking at a total of $8,000 thousand dollars for your property transfer tax and so it's important to note that a property transfer tax is a one-time fee it's not to be confused with your property taxes which is an annual fee property trans transfer tax is paid uh, whenever you purchase a property and only when you purchase that property and so who pays for this property transfer tax it is the buyer and it's paid at the time of completion um, another thing to note uh, that people ask us quite frequently is exemptions First time home buyer exemptions are the most notable one. Um, previously, it was up to the $475,000 purchase price mark, but the government's recently bumped that up. So if you are purchasing a property that is less than $500,000, then you may be exempt if you are a first time home buyer, a Canadian citizen, or a permanent resident, and if you're using it as your primary residence for at least one year. So it's definitely something to look into. And if you have any questions about property transfer tax, Feel free to reach out to us anytime. I'll leave a link in the bio for a property transfer tax blog post that I've written. Um, or if you're already in the blog post itself and you're looking at the video through that way, then just keep scrolling down. But feel free to reach out to me anytime. Again, my name is Mariko and I'm with Bridgewell Real Estate Group in Coquitlam, British Columbia. Thanks for watching.